Hello, my dear friend. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to share something a little bit different from my usual videos, but I think you may find it very helpful. So, I'm going to talk about how I plan out my bullet journal using the coming September as an example. Before we start, I want to quickly share some sketches I made for the previous bullet journal setups. Here are some ideas and layout designs I did for a travel theme this February. And this one is quite simple. It's for my husband's half yearly setup, so not too much drawings, but more focus on the layout. And then this one is for the last month's space theme, if you remember. I actually changed some designs in the final pencil guide in the notebook, like the weekly layout and the cover page. If you watch my old plan with me video, you may find some of them look familiar. I'll leave the links to the few I just mentioned in the description box if you want to check it out. Without further ado, let's get started. The first thing is to choose a topic. Sorry, I have my nose in Chinese, but I just want to show you that I always write down the ideas when it comes to my mind. Then based on the season, festival, trending topic, or just my personal experience, I will go with the one I feel right at the current moment. Today's example I'm going to show you is September Bujo for my husband. So since he's really into music these days, the theme I'm going to do is music. Music is a really broad topic, and this time I want to focus on music players. After choosing the topic, I start to doodle out the first images popping in my brain, starting with this cassette tape. You may have never seen one in person, well, it may expose how old I am, but I did experience cassette tape, mp3, and had a little bit experience with disc record. So basically, I quickly draw all kinds of music players I can think of, like Walkman, mp3, iPod, even an old pentagraph. If you couldn't recognize some of them, it's okay, I'll explain more either in the coming monthly set of video or doodle with me video. You are also very welcome to leave comments below and tell me what types of music players you've used or you are using. After doodling out all the elements, I think it would be fun if I can cover all kinds of music players ever existed. So the theme is finally decided to be the history of music players. Then I did some research online and I actually found out some interesting information which I'll share with you very soon in the official monthly plan with me video later. The next is to work on the font. I found this one called Musik by Ching Kui Ti and just fall in love with it. I also found a lowercase font design by Fan Liao which is perfect to use as subtitle. Here is me trying a few of them. For most of times, I try to come up with my own design on everything, but it's always good to have a reference and learn from other really good people. If you're interested in those fonts, I'll leave the link in the description box for you. Okay, now we can work on the layout. In order to save space, I divide the right page into 8 parts. And for each music player, I have a few designs in my head already, but since I'm going to draw them in chronological order, to begin with, I decide to use panograph element on the cover page. After quickly sketching out two designs, I'm not really happy with it, so I divide one section even more to four parts to record more possible options. I know some of you may not spend so much time and effort working on the layout design, and I totally understand. Personally, I prefer to do all the research and preparation to make my video content more interesting or inspiring for my viewers. But if you already have a specific layout that works the best for you, especially for monthly view and habit tracker, that's great and keep it up. As for the cover page, there's no limitation on how you make it, so that's where I spend most of my preparation time on. I've tried a few different designs in the past, like drawing across the whole spread, dot door, and the more traditional way of half-half. I encourage you to always try something new and it will be a really good experience for the whole month while using it. Then for the rest elements, I also come up with a few options to match each page. I do struggle a lot when it comes to one element can be used on multiple spreads. For example, the tape could be really good for a calendar, like what I'm drawing right now. Or just simply take the tape out and make a space for brand up. I'm also considering to make it into a mood tracker by dividing the tape into 30 sections. In the meanwhile, for each of other elements, I try to come up with designs to match different pages, which I'll have to make a decision before moving to the notebook. 
Anyway, the point of doing brainstorm for myself is to dig out all the possible designs, and sometimes I feel sorry that some good ideas that are overlaid for one spread, so I can't present all of them in the final setup. By the way, the example I'm using today is purely black and white. So if you're planning to do a colorful theme, don't forget to test out the color palette and try it before using in your notebook. That happened to me when I first started doing bullet journal, but I added a way and redo it. You won't be able to find out which video I'm talking about anymore, but yeah, try to make sure the colors are working well with each other, okay? Sometimes one spread is not enough for me, then I'll keep sketching on the next page. But here I'm just showing you as an example, so I didn't draw all the layout options within the camera. But I'm really happy how this planning turned out, and there are a few ideas I love a lot. Even though I can't use all of them this time, I'll save it for later when there's another chance to do music-related theme. As I'm working on the weekly layout, I'd like to thank my patrons who voted out the next summary video theme for me, which is different ways to do weekly spreads. If you're interested in voting for my future video content, join my Patreon community, and you can also get more bonus like digital PDF of all my Bujo spreads and wallpapers. With all the designs and ideas in my sketchbook, now I can dive right into the pencil guide drawing. I'll leave the plan with me video link in the right up corner and the description if you're interested in the final look. Again, I want to mention that the main purpose of bullet journal is to let it serve and help you instead of making you pressured or forcing yourself to go for extreme fun art style. This is all personal preference. So yeah, that's all I want to share with you today. For me, there are pretty much four steps to plan out a bullet journal. Choose the theme doodle out all the elements, find a perfect font, and then brainstorm all the layout design. You don't have to follow exactly how I do it and just follow your heart, choose the style you like, no matter it's minimalistic style or heavily on art, as long as you enjoy making it. I truly hope this video is helpful or inspiring for you. So besides regular plan with me, doodle with me, draw with me series, I'm considering to add more various contents in my channel, like vlog or maybe more tutorial videos. Please leave comments below and let me know what you think. I really appreciate your feedback. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to turn on the bell. Thank you for watching. I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.